Hey guys, before we get going on the incubator here, I'm going to give you a reminder to uh, check out my page. I got a small hobby farm going on here, and I got a few videos out already on chicken and bobwhite quail, um, but I'm going to be bringing a bunch more to you. I got some uh, gardening videos I'm going to be posting, a bunch on raising quail, turkeys, chickens, you name it, cattle. So uh, check out my page, uh, make sure you subscribe, I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, we're going to be going over an incubator today real quick. Um, biggest tips I can give you right off is uh, don't get overwhelmed with it. And definitely do not think that you have to buy the latest, greatest thing out. Um, it's not near as complicated as people make it out to seem. So I'm going to just give you a simplified version of it. And uh, it works well for me. I've had really good success with this. So this is just a cheaper incubator that I got off Amazon. Nothing special about it at all. As you can see, I got a few eggs going right now. Um, reason it's off is this thing will squeal at me once the temperature drops down low. Um, yeah, it just got a little tray in here. How it works is there's a little motor in here that slowly turns, and as it does, it will rotate these eggs. And I'll keep them flipping back and forth. Okay, the only other thing is right up and under here is a water pan. So, one other thing you got to watch for is just keep water in this pan throughout the whole process. Now with chickens and quail and turkeys, everything's a little bit different. I'm not going to tell you because I don't want you to do it and something happens and you think it's all my fault. So do your research. But each one will have a different temperature that you want to set it at. And they also hatch on different days. Um, the other thing to note that you will have to do is a few days before the hatch, you do want to come down here and take this tray out and stop them from turning. That will give the chicks time to spin around, uh, get oriented, and get ready to hatch out. Um, and that's really about the extent of it. People make it out to be harder than what it is. Just keep you smarter in the tray. Make sure it's rotating. And then take this assembly out when they're getting ready to hatch. Um, the only other thing is you set your temperature on it. And like I said, you can do a Google search on that. Figure out what temperature you want to set it at. I'm not going to tell you that. You do your own research and figure that out. But uh, this simple little setup right here, I've hatched quail, turkey, chicks a little bit of everything and uh, most cases I've had an 85 percent to 90 percent hatch rate so it really is that simple um, and like I said again I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you don't go out by the latest greatest you can get away with something just as simple as this and have really good luck you don't need to go all gun hole on it so yeah this is my setup this is all you need so good luck to you and uh, do a little research Buy you a cheaper little incubator, hatch you some out, have some fun.